The stories in this episode come from the Reddit community and are not my own. Links to their original source are in the description, as well as contact information should you wish to either submit your own story or request the removal of a story from an episode. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Stories with me, Jesse. And today we're once again looking at the people who ask us to decide if their actions were justified over at Reddit slash Am I the A-Hole. Let me know what you think of these stories in the comments, as well as any suggestions you might have that we may just use in a future installment. Prepare yourself to reach an unbiased verdict, because we're getting started now. Our first story is titled, Am I the a-hole for telling a woman that her husband is probably a porn addict after she told me to move because I was distracting him? I often go to the local park to study slash read a book, etc. There's this apartment complex near the park, and people living there have a direct view of the park. Yesterday I was chillin' when this woman who lives in the apartment came up to me. She asked me if I could move to another spot. I asked her why, and she said that I was distracting her husband. I was confused at first, didn't even understand what she meant by that. She was super vague, but clarified that her husband does what men do, and that I should go somewhere else. So at this point, I was pretty disgusted. I replied that I wouldn't move and put my headphones on again. She got very irritated and said that I should respect other people's wishes and do the right thing. She then said that I come to the park too often and that I should consider other people's marriage. Apparently she discussed this with other women in the apartment and they agree with her. I told her that I don't care about anybody's marriage and that her husband is probably a porn addict if he can't handle the sight of a female stranger in public. Well, that clearly pissed her off because she was seething with anger. She said that her husband doesn't watch porn and called me a sick, twisted little girl for even suggesting that. I told her that she was making me really uncomfortable, but she was still attacking me over the porn addict comment. She kept repeating that he doesn't watch porn and that he's not interested in me and not to flatter myself. Afterwards, she left, but not before telling me that I will face consequences sooner or later. I told my friend about it, and she thinks I'm an a-hole for accusing the woman's husband of being a porn addict. She said that it was very disrespectful and that she understands why the woman got so upset. And she added that I shouldn't upset a crazy person since I can't predict what she might do. Am I the a-hole here? Edit. I wasn't naked. You are definitely not the a-hole for using a public space. And it really sounds like she's making excuses for her husband instead of admitting that he has a bit of a staring problem. How dare she essentially tell you to go and hide instead of deal with the more obvious issue that honestly has nothing to do with you. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Moving on, our next story is called... Am I the a-hole for locking my son out? My son and daughter are 18. My son has been bullying his sister lately. Apparently, he overheard her talking about getting a boob job. She says she was not even serious about getting her boobs done, not that it matters. Since then, my son keeps teasing her about it. He calls her nicknames like Flat, Lil Tits, and Pancake Chest. He sent her a picture of an A-cup bra. She wears C-cup bras. I told him and had talks with him multiple times about how he needs to stop making fun of her boobs. It embarrasses his sister. She always gets upset, and I can tell it makes her feel insecure about them. She used to sometimes wear sports bras and tank tops around the house, but stopped for a while. My son stopped for a couple of weeks, and she started dressing more usual for her at home. My son made fun of her when she had a shirt on or tank top slash sports bras. It didn't really change his behavior either way. Me and my daughter were standing at the door when my son had arrived. My daughter was wearing a sports bra and no shirt over it. While he was walking through the porch, he said to his sister that she would have to wear nothing but two post-it notes on her chest to show even a little bit of cleavage. When he said that, I slammed the door and locked it. I said he was not welcome in here. I wanted to make sure my daughter was okay and protect her from his comments for a few hours before letting him in. He sat 
sat in his car. When my wife got home, we let him in. My wife was very angry at me for locking my son out, even after explaining what happened. My wife said I am overreacting to sibling teasing. I thought my wife would be on my side, since not only does she obviously have tits too, but she used to struggle with her body image. My daughter just called me a good dad. I have been calling her beautiful sometimes too, to try and help. Non-physical compliments too, of course. Edit. Me and my wife agreed to take our son's car keys and phone away until he apologizes to his sister, drops the demeaning comments, and treats his sister and everyone with respect for a month. After the month, if he disrespects her again, we will reinstate the punishment and consider kicking him out. We asked him why he thinks it's okay to talk about his sister's boobs, and he doesn't have an answer. I asked him why he is so interested in his sister's tits, and he got embarrassed. Me and my wife had a talk with our daughter about how she is perfect and beautiful the way she is. I told her men love C-cups and are not picky with boobs. C-cup is not small. Most women seem to wish they were a C-cup. If she had bigger boobs, it could cause problems like giving her back pain. Future partners that really care for her will think her body is perfect and will like her boobs. And it's not okay for men to treat women disrespectfully like that. We are getting therapy for both of them, too. No way are you the a-hole for making a stance and not allowing such awful harassment to continue. Nobody deserves to be teased and shamed for their breasts, and your son is being ruthless and cruel. I'm certainly happy to hear that you're getting the both of them therapy, because while teasing is one thing, this level of fixation from your son is not healthy, and as a father myself, I can only imagine what I'd do if my son treated my own daughter so ruthlessly. Thank you for allowing me to share your story. Our final story is titled, Am I the a-hole for telling my son's girlfriend that she is stupid? I have two adult children. My daughter has a five-year-old daughter, and my son's girlfriend is pregnant with their first child. I've always got the impression that she doesn't like me, but that's fine. I don't particularly like her either, but we are civil for my son's sake. I'm Brazilian. I grew up in Brazil, and I go back once or twice a year to visit family. I had both of my children over last night, and I mentioned that when it is safe to travel, I will be taking my granddaughter to Brazil for the first time. My son's girlfriend said that she doesn't want her child going with me in the future, which is fine, her hypothetical child was never invited. Then she said she doesn't want her child exposed to that culture. I asked what she meant by that, and she said she is worried about her daughter. She doesn't know what she is having yet. Growing up around my culture, because I've had multiple plastic surgeries, my daughter got a boob job for a graduation gift, and I'm vain. Brazil does have a reputation for being the plastic surgery capital of the world, but it's not like I'm taking the five-year-old there to get a consultation. It is also a beautiful country, with a culture that goes far beyond plastic surgery. I told her she is incredibly stupid, borderline racist, and she doesn't have to worry about being taken on any trips. My husband said maybe we should take her and get something done about her chin. I did tell him that was an a-hole thing to say. My son now wants me to apologize for calling her stupid. The people of Reddit and myself agree that everyone sucks here. Your son and his girlfriend for attacking your culture and limiting their opinions to a small-minded stereotype. Your husband for making snide comments and not helping to defuse the situation. And you for not taking the high road and stooping to name-calling and being spiteful. I totally get that you were simply wanting to share an enriching experience with your grandkid. And I can't imagine how it must have felt to have the place where you grew up be used as the brunt of a completely unnecessary argument. I feel that everyone involved needs to have some kind of session or sit down in the hopes that your family can talk this out and find some common ground. Or else tensions are only going to raise and they might end up shutting you out of your grandchildren's lives completely. Do you guys feel the same way that I do, or do you perhaps feel differently about any of today's stories? I always value your perspective in the comments and welcome you to share your own judgments below. Anyways, that's about all the time we have for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you once again for tuning in with me, Jesse.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content, and check out what other stories I have for you. Have a beautiful day, and don't be an a-hole. I'll catch you in the next one.